This is an introduction to electronic health records. I am Professor Alemi. This research is based on work done by Alliance for Health Reform on the Toolkit for Reporters on Health Information Technology. This work was funded by Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. We also use several figures from published papers where we have cited the source. Many in the U.S. have high hopes for health information technology or health IT. Hospitals hope to reduce medication errors such as ordering and administering the wrong dose of a medication. Providers hope to access and share patient information more easily. Governments and businesses hope to save money by improving efficiency. According to the RAND Corporation researchers, full implementation of health IT systems could produce efficiency savings as great as $77 billion per year after a 15-year adoption period. One study concluded that computerized physician order entry systems for prescriptions reduce medication errors by as much as 55% because they ensure at a minimum that orders are complete and legible. Despite this potential, adoption of health information technology has been slow. Fully two-thirds of health centers and physicians maintain paper records. Only 11% of hospitals have fully implemented electronic health record systems, and even fewer have adopted computerized physician order entry systems. Adoption rates are worst among solo physicians. In this graph, the blue bars show adoption of electronic medical record in different sized physician practices. The green bars show adoption of electronic medical record system which included physician order entry. As the size of practice grows, adoption of EMR system grows. But even in large practices, only 20% have computerized physician order entry. In order for health IT to deliver on its promise, several obstacles must be overcome. First, health IT systems must be able to speak the same language. In computer terms, they must be interoperable. These systems must also be linked in some way. One model of such connectivity is a national network structured around regional networks or health information exchanges. Interoperable networks assume the existence of a national standards, a process that's going on right now. Beyond technical consideration, there is the issue of cost. Health IT systems often carry hefty price tags. A recent study found that initial electronic health record costs averaged nearly 44,000 per full-time provider plus an additional 8,500 in annual operating costs for small group practices. Policymakers must decide who should pay for this. Currently, providers are expected to bear most of the initial costs while most of the savings accrue to others. For example, hospitals often spend tens of millions of dollars on computerized physician order entry systems, providing benefits for other stakeholders, insurers, purchasers, and patients. One major study found that it will cost more than $150 billion over five years to develop a nationally interoperable system, including equipping physicians with standardized IT systems. Another issue is whether patient privacy might be jeopardized by health IT systems. Medical records often include personal information such as names, addresses, and social security numbers, as well as confidential clinical data. 
In order for health IT to take hold at the national level, patients must feel assured that their information can be assessed only by those with a legitimate need to know. Providers are also concerned whether sharing records will be considered antitrust activities and whether it would lead more lawsuit to more lawsuits because health information is more accessible. Adoption has also been slow because of lack of trained IT personnel. This is where you come in. People are needed who understand both the technology and the business of healthcare, and that is you. Though the jury is still out as to whether health IT will deliver widespread improvements in efficiency, cost savings, and quality of care, there are several working examples of interoperable health information technologies. The Department of Veterans Affairs greatly improved the quality of care at its facilities with a new health IT system. Within a decade, the use of the electronic health record transformed the VA to become one of the best quality hospital care in the nation. When Hurricane Katrina struck the Gulf Coast, VA electronic health records were easily salvaged, whereas untold numbers of paper records were destroyed. The Veterans Administration's experience suggests that large-scale implementation of electronic health record will improve the nation's health. <coughs> the take-home lesson for this lecture has been that health information technology has the potential to reform the entire healthcare system if it were in more widespread use.